Jamali Supercross live on supercrossonline.com. Well, he did it in round two in Phoenix, and he does it again here tonight in Atlanta, round eight. Yeah. Ryan Dunsey comes away with another win for KTM. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it feels great. You know, I think uh, that first one, getting that first one pretty early there in Phoenix, and then a couple rounds later to uh, to get it here. You know, we've uh, it's been of um, some tough points as far as getting getting bikes set up and everything like that. But uh, you know, I feel like we're getting better and better, and everybody's doing a great job. But uh, it was nice, you know. Got back to the East Coast, um, was able to put get some uh, get some good downtime in their place, and track was awesome. And um, it, it was just nice, you know, to get back into my own little program and everything. And uh, drove up to Atlanta, and and um, it, it was a great day, you know. From the start, we were off to a good start and made a couple clickers in practice. Heat race got off to a good start, had a, um, a little tip over there. But uh, ended up second, and then got, a, and then in the main event was able to come with the win, which was um, just the you know the cherry on the top. But uh, you know I'm I'm excited. It's a um, this uh, this sport can be really tough on a rider and uh, at points of of, uh, of your career. But you know I'm I'm glad we uh, all stuck together, and I got the great people behind me, and uh, we're able to keep moving forward. Well, you didn't get that whole start. That went to uh, Cole Seeley. He picks up that $1,500. But what do you think of Cole Seeley? I mean, he led it out there for about seven laps. It seemed to me you were just kind of waiting and seeing where he was doing until he started to make a couple mistakes, and you said it's time to go. No, absolutely. You know, he, he's a great rider. You know, I've uh, known that from the from last year when he hopped on the 450. But uh, and he's a great starter. He proved that tonight. But you know, the track was one of those things. It kind of really would, uh, if you weren't paying attention, it could bite you. And there's some spots that were slippery. Almost threw it down in the beginning, but was able to make the pass clean and uh, just pull away from there and uh, and uh, lead those laps to the end, which was good. Your mechanic, Carlos, those last uh, few laps, what's he putting on the uh, signboard there because Villapoto was coming? Yeah, he was. Villapoto was riding a really great race, and uh, basically Carlos just had my time and, and Villapoto's time. If I need to wick it up, then I had to do that, and um, I did my best. You know, I made a few mistakes out there. Could have could have uh, been a little bit cleaner, but uh, I think we all did tonight. And, um, you know, I'm really glad that uh, we can walk away with the win and, and, and safe, you know. But uh, absolutely, it's a big step in the right direction. If we can keep carrying this momentum forward and, and just keep building on everything would be nice. It's onward uh, next weekend to St. Louis. Uh, you and Ryan Villapoto had an epic battle there a couple years ago when you won that championship. Yeah, yeah Naps, absolutely. We uh, came down to the wire there. But uh, it's a new year, you know, and um, new race and new everything. So. We're going to have to keep taking these races one at a time and just uh, keep put our head down and race the track and, and focus on ourselves.